Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at Detail Geek's graphene spray coating and comparing it to um, both, well, a lot of them actually, the new finish graphene coating, Turtle Wax Flex Wax, and then the Adams graphene ceramic spray coating and their detail spray. This is not the advanced, it's just the normal. Uh, if you see it's shiny, it's because this trigger is leaking for some reason and barfing coating all over itself. I don't know why, uh, but that's why it's shiny. Um, so we're going through um, kind of like a checklist based on the claims. You know, incredibly easy to use and restore the depth and gloss to your vehicle's paint in minutes. Graphene resin infused formula. Leave your paint feeling slick and offers hydro properties that can't be beat. Or can they? Um, use it as a stopper, self-cleaning, extremely hydrophobic. So they don't give a durability claim in months. They just say super long-lasting protection. So if it's like any other spray I've done a real-world test on, it'll be four to six months, maybe. Um, but that's what we're doing. We're not doing uh, chemical resistance, and we're not using the gloss panel right now. I maybe when we come back at the two week or one month or two month point, I'll have that panel ready to see how it compares to these products here. Um, but right now I'm just testing it on the vehicle and I'm just um, comparing it to these ones in a real world test. Because if a YouTuber makes a detailing product, something tells me they've designed it to do well in all the YouTuber tests which is never usually real world. They're all about dumping stupid chemicals on your paint and pretending that's normal. So um, that's not what we're gonna do today. Maybe down the road we can throw it into a test and do something like that just for S's and G's, but um, <clears throat> that's not what I wanna do today. So without further ado, um, I'm gonna put up some of the application footage. Uh, I'm gonna speed it up just so you can see. Uh, we'll say, it doesn't have much of a smell, but if you f shove your nose in there, it's not that pleasant. But it isn't powerful when you're using it, which is nice. Um, it is very slick and very nice to apply and remove, especially with an applicator. It was really nice. So uh, from a usability standpoint, this thing is amazing. Um, and, and it was slick. And then when we get to it, I'll throw in the... Uh, throw in the hydrophobic um, stuff, the hydrophobic, oh my goodness, talk, footage showing it on the hood after a full day curing in the garage. So hasn't been washed, sat in the garage overnight after being clayed and polished and panel wiped, and then all these were applied, two coats back to back just for a coverage, just like, um, and then overnight in the garage and I sprayed it the next day. So it had a good, everything had a good 12 hours before getting wet, more than enough all based on the labels. So um, without further ado, we'll look at the application and I'll over I'll narrate it a little bit and then we'll do the hydrophobic and then our conclusion. Anyway, here we go. Wet. Okay, so first up for the uh, applications, the detail geek, and you'll see the instructions for first aid. Don't give to your children. And the spiel that I sort of read earlier. Um, I will say that the bottle is very standard, very typical. Lots of companies use that bottle. The trigger is not that great. It's the same trigger actually that's in the Adams spray coating, but um, wasn't super impressed with it. Uh, very cheap feeling. Uh, it was a $26 Canadian for that bottle before shipping and taxes. So considering the graphene detail spray next to it is about the same price. Uh, it has a much better trigger and the turtle wax also has a much better trigger. Same trigger actually. It's on the, uh, the Adams one, but, uh, yeah, the overall, the, the, the trigger wasn't that good. Uh, but it comes to application though, super slick, um, very watery. So not a thick product. Um, definitely could be used with just a microfiber cloth, but I just find that, Spray on a panel and wipe wasteful. Um, you should better off spraying it into the cloth. Uh, and here you see the wipe off. So 
not too bad, not too shabby. Um, but yeah, overall, very easy to apply and remove. And uh, you'll see at the end here, I give it the old thumbs up for slickness. And now we just get through the other guys. We got flex wax going on here. Uh, same, same, all applied with applicators and Costco microfiber rags. Slick. Um, new finish graphene coating is not that slick, but it's very hydrophobic. So if you're thinking about buying it and want a slick car, it isn't a slick product. So I say no to that one. Detail spray, again, it's the same price, same size as the Detail Geek. So um same application method although i use it that way but very slick easy to apply uh hydrophobics are okay they're not great but you'll see uh coming up how the hydrophobics went for that guy and of course last is the adams graphene which i forgot to record uh it's more like a coating but after two coatings back to back it was quite slick but here we go into the hydrophobics. I'm just pointing out where everything is. So you've got Tito Geek in the middle, uh, the Adams guys on the left, and the Turtle Wax and the new finish on the right. Um, so here's Rainhead. You can see that the new finish is quite rapid. The, uh, the Turtle Wax is also quite rapid. And the graphene spray coating from Adams is quite rapid as well. I think the Adams and the new finish were tied with Turtle Wax in a close second. Detail Geek and the um, Graphene Detail Spray from Adams were about as hydrophobic as one another. So him saying hydrophobics that can't be beat, that's, it can be pretty easily beaten by quite a few brands. So definitely not the best out there. It's not bad by any stretch of the means, but it's not the best. The What we're gonna see is how long it will last, how long that performance stays up there. So I'm gonna shut up now and put some royalty-free music on here because I know you guys love it so much and uh, we'll touch base afterwards. Okay, so that's where we're at for now. Uh, everybody's happy and sassy on the panel, and they'll be there for quite a while. Of course, we're coming into winter now. It is mid-October. Um, we got rain coming up. Uh, I don't know when freezing is going to roll around, but it's definitely going to be during this test soon enough, given history. 
Um, but yeah, they're definitely going into a, a not as nice time of year, but you know, spring and pollen and summer heat can, can kill things too. So we'll see how they do. Uh, I don't know how often I'm going to update it, but, uh, at least two weeks before I want to wash anything. Um, and this car usually parks outside, so it's going to be exposed a lot. So we'll see how it goes. Um, overall application and slickness were amazing. They were really nice. I thought it was really easy to use. Uh, it doesn't have a good odor, but it isn't powerful, so it's okay. I don't have any problems with that. Um, the bottle's nice. The trigger's kind of pretty budget. So uh, if you've got like tall cool sprayers or a sprayer at home that you usually like to use for uh, something you want to atomize and mist really well, put it on it instead. It's not that great of a trigger, but anyway, that's enough for this one. Uh, see you in the next guy. Thank you.